హలో ఎవ్రీబడి దిస్ ఈస్ నందూరామ్ అండ్ వీ ఆర్ ఫ్రమ్ సోను అకాడమీ టుడే వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ అబౌట్ ఎన్విరాన్మెంటల్ స్టడీస్ క్లాస్ ఫోర్ సిబిఎస్ఇ సిలబస్ ద టాపిక్ నేమ్ ఈస్ అబ్దుల్ ఇన్ ద గార్డెన్ లెట్ ఎస్ సీ వాట్ ఈస్ హ్యాపెన్ వెన్ అబ్దుల్ ఈస్ ఇన్ ద గార్డెన్ ఇట్ వాజ్ ఎ హాలిడే అబ్దుల్ వాజ్ హెల్పింగ్ హిస్ అబ్బు ఇన్ ద గార్డెన్ అబ్బు వాజ్ క్లియరింగ్ ద డ్రైడ్ లీవ్స్ అండ్ గ్రాసెస్ ఫ్రమ్ ద వెజిటేబుల్ బెడ్స్ Abdul started to pull out the grass from one of the bed. He found that it was not easy to pull out even the small grass. His hands became red by the effort. In trying to pull out the grass, Abdul knocked down a stick that was supporting the delicate stem of the pea plant broken up immediately. Abu said, "Why are you pulling the grass? The roots of the grass are strong." you will have to dig them out abdul carefully dug out the plant he then saw that the roots of the grass plant were long and much more spread out than the part of the plant above the ground the stick when was stuck in the ground fell very easily it was difficult to pull out a small grass children imagine how deep and spread out the roots of this are most of the plants have the same basic parts each part has its own work to do these parts work together and keep the plant alive let us see about the plant a plant a plant can be divided into two parts they are called shoot and root the part of the plant which is above the soil is called shoot the part of the plant that grows under the soil is called root children you cannot see it above the ground some plants have a thick main root below the stem it goes deep into the soil several thinner side roots grow from the main root such roots are called tap roots examples are hibiscus bean mustard they have type roots grass has no main root it has a number of tiny roots attached to the end of the stem it look like a bunch of roots and these roots we can called as fibrous roots let us see what are the roots do if a plant did not have roots they become unsteady and fall down roots fix a plant firmly to the soil plants need water and salts from the soil root takes this and it gives them up to the stem and leaves roots of some plants such as carrot radish and beetroot they store the food material and which is prepared by the plant after the 3 days abdul saw that broken part of the pea plant had dried why abu remember that he had to send some radish home he started to pull the radish out of the soil abdul wondered whether these were also roots only a few radishes were pulled when there was suddenly a strong wind and rain came both of them picked up the radish and ran into the home they had just reached the home when the branch of the neem tree in the courtyard broke and fell down in fact abu was lucky to have missed by only a few inches despite the strong wind the tree remained firm on the ground they both sat down to have a tea with ammi abu said to abdul the plants were getting dry now that it has rained we will not have to water the plants we cannot sit and play ludo nowadays abdul keep thinking about all kinds of plants whatever that he sees abdul saw a plant growing out of the wall in the school he wondered how does the root absorb the water the plant absorbs the water through their entire surface which is useful for roots stems and leaves however the majority of water is absorbed by root hairs they are in close contact within the thin film of water surrounding the soil particles the cell wall of the root hair is permeable to water and minerals because of this osmosis occurs and the water is absorbed by the root hairs through cell membranes from the soil abdul saw a huge tree that had fallen on the road side he remembered that neem tree is in his courtyard he could see some of its broken roots abdul thought what is this these are unusual roots s yes, you have sung from a banana tree 
you have seen a banana tree is what looks like hanging branches are actually the roots of banana trees this grow down from the branches until they reach the ground these roots are like pillars and they provide strong support to the tree the banyan tree are also has roots under the ground just as other trees have there is a law against cutting the trees there were trees growing close to the lamp post the trees was so full of leaves that the lamp of the club was blocked people felt that the branches of tree needed to trimmed before they do this they need to take written permission from the government office let us see some of the plants in desert desert oka is a tree that is found in australia it grows almost as tall as your classroom wall it has very few leaves guess how deep its roots go down as yes, the length of its go down into 30 such trees lay down in a line end to end one after another that is how the long root of this tree can be these roots go deep into the ground till they reach the water this water is stored in the tree of a trunk children when there was no water in the desert the local people used to put a thin pipe into the trunk of the tree to drink for this water thank you this is nanduram and we are from sono academy